What happens when you mix a bass line that's funk, punk, reggae, pop, and disco all at once, and you pair it with a woman who's a fashion icon, an actress, and a pop singer all at once? You get one of the most iconic hit songs from the 1980s, Pull Up to the Bumper by Grace Jones. Pull up to the bumper, baby. Recorded on her 1981 breakthrough album, Nightclubbing, Bumper went all the way to number five on the R&B charts and number two on the dance charts. It made her a star. The song starts with one of the most recognizable bass hooks of the decade. <laughs> who played that line was the one and only Robbie Shakespeare, who, along with drummer Sly Dunbar, made up the legendary rhythm section and production duo known as Sly and Robbie. They produced Black Uhuru, The Rolling Stones, Madonna, Britney Spears, Sting. Look them up. In 1980, they were the core of the Compass Point All-Stars, the in-house musicians for Island Records in the Bahamas. The main groove to this song borrows heavily from funk. The whole thing was done in one take, and the bass line is all about hitting downbeats and playing space. Most of this track was cut well before the nightclubbing album and actually released as an instrumental in Jamaica called Peanut Butter. Yep, that's the same track. It was put down on tape a year before it came out. It came out as an instrumental in Jamaica and Junior Tucker was supposed to sing it. But when we met Grace for the next album, she started crying that she wanted that rhythm because she heard it playing somewhere and she wanted that rhythm. And they brought up this girl named Dana Mono and co-wrote the lyrics back around the rhythm. You can even hear the bass line borrow heavily from disco at one point during the breakdown. And if you listen hard, you can hear Robbie start to go off a little bit as the song fades out. This music involved people from all over the world. Jamaica, England, France, America. And you can really hear it. It has a real world sound to it and it's grooving. Four decades later, and this song remains one of Grace Jones' anthems, a signature song that she still performs to this day, and it's just as powerful now as it was then. Sadly, bassist Robbie Shakespeare died in 2021 at the age of 68. He was one half of one of the most significant duos in the history of popular music. And his music still lives on. So go and check it out. Driving down the city street, waiting.